Let me take you through the mechanism of action of vortioxetine. Which is considered a multimodal agent. And what's interesting about this agent is it increases levels of a number of neurotransmitters, and hence why the name multimodal. So firstly, it has an effect on CERT inhibition. So just like an SSRI, it increases levels of serotonin in the synaptic cleft. However, it does not have the same side effects as an SSRI because its CERT affinity is not as strong compared to an SSRI. So it's at times 50% lower than SSRI CERT affinity. Vortioxetine is also one of the agents that has a dose-dependent effect. So its activity on many of these receptors increases as we increase the dose. In terms of its increase of neurotransmitters, it increases levels of serotonin, it increases levels of dopamine, noradrenaline, acetylcholine, and histamine. And we can see that these effects of 5-HT provide benefits with regards to depression and the treatment of depression just like an SSRI, but dopamine nor adrenaline provide benefits in the more severe forms of depression as well, so melancholic depression, acetylcholine for cognition and histamine for cognition. But we'll see that there are some specific properties of vortioxetine which are pro-cognitive independent of the improvement in depression. There are also benefits in pain. So let's start with the 5-HD1A receptor. We know that the 5-HD1A receptor presynaptic acts as a break, and that needs to be desensitized. Vortioxetine acts as a full agonist at the 5-HD1A presynaptic end and the postsynaptic end. When it activates that receptor initially, it will stamp on the break, prevent any release of serotonin. However, that particular receptor will desensitize and serotonin will flow. We know that the desensitization of the 5-HD1A receptor takes approximately two to four weeks, for example, with SSRIs. With vortioxetine, vortioxetine accelerates this process of 5-HD1A desensitization, therefore shortens the effects of action when it comes to this particular receptor. And that's a big benefit. Secondly, by acting at the 5-HD1A receptor as a full agonist postsynaptically, it increases levels of noradrenaline and dopamine from the ventral tegmental area into the frontal circuits. And that provides benefits in melancholic depression. There's the 5-HD3 receptor. Vortioxetine is a 5-HD3 antagonist at this particular receptor. And interestingly, this particular receptor is situated on the GABA interneuron, and this is known as a heteroreceptor. So 5-HD3 antagonism at the GABA heteroreceptor inhibits GABA. Inhibition of GABA increases levels of noradrenaline, dopamine, acetylcholine, and serotonin. This is postulated to provide procognitive benefits in addition to mood-enhancing effects, antidepressant properties. These 5-HT3 receptors are also situated in the dorsal horn neurons. And the same effect with increasing noradrenaline in the dorsal horn neurons provides anti-nociceptive properties, therefore providing benefits in pain. Next, we have the 5-HT7 antagonism. Again, inhibits GABA and increases levels of serotonin in the dorsal raphe nucleus. Furthermore, it also increases levels of acetylcholine and histamine. This is where some of the procognitive effects come in. Next, we have 5-HD1B, partial agonism, which has the cumulative effect of increasing serotonin, glutamate, dopamine, noradrenaline, acetylcholine, and histamine. We know that glutamate also has procognitive effects because it plays a very important role in prefrontal cortex cognition. Finally, we have the 5-HD1D antagonist activity. Here, the effect is increase in serotonin, and this has benefits on sleep, particularly by reducing REM sleep. 
Overall, vortioxetine has benefits on sleep by acting on promoting non-REM sleep and reducing REM sleep as well. Vortioxetine overall as an agent, we saw that it increases serotonin, dopamine, noradrenaline, acetylcholine, histamine, and glutamate. Therefore, vortioxetine has antidepressant effects, sleep promoting qualities, pain reduction, and pro-cognitive effects as well. Advantages include, it is not associated with emotional blunting. There are low levels of sexual dysfunction. The main side effects sometimes are nausea, and this is most likely due to acetylcholine and histamine, because these also, histamine particularly, releases acid in the gut. And this can be counteracted by asking the patient to take the medication with food, or sometimes prescribing on Dancetron or a PPI or agents such as antihistamine antacids. One other property of vortioxetine that's useful is a long half-life. However, when one wants to switch from vortioxetine to another agent, it's important to recognize its long half-life. Finally, one has to also take into account that combination of vortioxetine with other serotonergic agents may increase the risk of serotonin syndrome. Overall, this is a really good agent to consider in the treatment of depression due to its multimodal mechanisms. Synthesizing complex material in psychiatry to simplify your practice.